Every year, we use up to 5 trillion disposable plastic bags and at least 13 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans each year. And that's according to investigations carried out by the United Nations. Now, nearly one third of plastics used are not disposed of properly and ends up clogging drains mm. and choking the environment. Now, this is a troubling reality as plastic now poses a major threat to water bodies, uh, marine life and human health. Yes, indeed. Now, this is why the theme uh, for this year's World Environment Day is Beat Plastic Pollution. Mm. Plastic pollution has become a major environmental concern and on this day, the UN is making an effort uh, to urge governments, industries, communities and people to unite in the fight against plastic and explore alternatives that are sustainable. Absolutely, we're going to be, uh, um, you know, looking at that, uh, the issue of alternatives that can be sustainable, definitely. With our guests in the studio this morning, uh, he is an environmentalist and the MD CEO of Mac Press uh, West Africa Limited, Idou Salao. Uh, good morning and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good, good morning. morning. Nice to see you. Good yeah, and uh, of course you can already see Ugochi Oluibo, who is, uh, of course, our Miss Environment right here. Miss Green Angle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got that right. Like the be beauty queens do. <laughs> All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, say uh, goodbye to single use plastic, part of the theme for this year. And of course, beat. Uh, Remind me of that again. Beat plastic, Beat plastic pollution. pollution. Mm. Let me start with you, uh, Mr. Ido. This issue of plastic, how did we even s go the way of plastic in the first place? Because I was reading up an article the other day that said that plastic was a design failure in the first place. That maybe shouldn't have even happened. Yeah, maybe if you look at the negative effect of what, of poor management of plastic. Mm. Poor management of waste plastic. Mm. We can say, well, that notion could be attributed to what you just said. Mm -hmm. But in context, what are plastic? Mm -hmm. What are the type of plastic that we have? There are plastic that are useful. Maybe some of your cable here, they do the wiring, uh, the PVC that we use here are plastic. Yes. They are useful. Your electronics has some 30% of uh, plastic as insulator. Mm -hmm. So there are some useful part of plastic. But what we are saying, what made plastic to not have a negative effect is the way we handle it and the poor waste management system that we have in our system. Mm. And it's worldwide. And I give you an example. Yeah. As far back as 1950, there are only 1.5 million metric tons of plastic in the ocean. Mm. But as the population keep growing, by 20, 2008, mm -hmm. we had over 245 million metric tons wow. already in the ocean. And these are made up of thermoplastic. And what are thermoplastic? Mm -hmm. These are plastic that when you eat it, it's, it's uh, become a little bit softened. And when you remove the heat or it's cool, it, it solidifies. Yeah. Okay. Now, we now have some part of plastic called microplastic. These are the one that is very dangerous, ah. the microplastic. And I give you an example of different type of plastic. You see this? Mm -hmm. These are HDP plastic, mm. high density polyethylene. It's different okay. from this one. This is low density polyethylene, okay. but they are all plastic. Mm. Mm. And but if you look at inside, we have something like pellets. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's made from this one. All right. uh -huh. There are some processes this will go through to form this. Okay. And if you look at your toothpaste, your plastic can for so many things that you use mm. at home, shampoo, this, mm. they are thermoplastic that when it is not properly managed, they go into the river. How did they get to the river? If you look at the, uh, the statistics, between 70 to 80% of marine litter mm. are plastics. Mm. 60 to 70%. Why is this so? Because when you have storm water, plastic can easily flow. Mm. It has a floatable effect and it can quickly move around with the water movement. And that's why we have it in abundance in, in the ocean. Now, the problem is this is another one. Uh, conflicts. The conflict. <laughs> plastic conflicts. Yes, it's called plastic <laughs> conflicts. Oh you have to reach this before you get to this one. Okay. 
You can see the same color. Uh -huh. mm. These are made from colored plastic. It's from processing. These are what we call value chain in plastic management. Mm. Now, what do you use this to produce? PVC. Mm. This is PVC. What's that? For what trunking. It's, okay. it's made from this. Mm. And this one is made from processing this into conflicts, from conflicts to pellet. Pellet is made, you mold it. Yeah. When why, it's, why is it called when it's conflicts? Eaten. Because, because it, it looks like conflicts. Like like <laughs> yes, that's yeah. the first process. For then your information, this is not edible. Yeah, that is exactly what we are looking at. <laughs> that, it's, that's not, the okay, it, it's not edible. Hmm. And that's the problem. Yeah. That's okay. the problem. Be before, before we get into, uh, because you have, you have a goodie bag there, mm -hmm. if I have to put it that way, environmental goodie bag, <laughs> <laughs> to give us all the lecture about what is there and what is composed. Let, let me come to you, Gochi. You have traveled to this, this southern, the southern coast of Nigeria. You've mm -hmm. been to the oceans there, Bayosa, rivers, Akwaibom, and all of that. Even here in Lagos, you've visited all of these. Even apart from that, you've been to parts of the world and seen all of these issues firsthand. Now, talk to us. How bad is the situation when we talk about plastics in mm. the ocean? It's so bad that um, um, scientists say that by 2050, mm. we're going to have more plastic in the ocean than fish. I must say that again. Mm. Say it again. More plastic in the ocean than fish. It means my children, Jehovah, yeah. you know, <laughs> might not find <laughs> fish to, to eat. eat. So when they we're go finding out, plastics, isn't Exactly, that? yes. Mm. Just, we're working on the story. We're going to follow a fisherman to go, go in and find out what they actually catch. And over the years in Lagos, I've spoken to fishermen who tell us we get more plastic than fish now. Oh my. So, so it's already happening. We don't happening. even need to wait till They throw in their nets and they find plastic bottles, slippers, different things, you know, that's what comes out. And just a little fish. So 2030 is already here. We're going to have more fish across the world, more plastic in the ocean. That's how bad the situation is. And you called it conflicts. Mm. Actually, the fish and other marine animals find this. They, it looks yummy. Yeah. So to they, them. Yeah, it looks very yummy. They're like, maybe God has made something else. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's try it. And then they eat it. There's a video out, a video out that, that's out last week of a whale in Thailand yeah. Yeah. that died. It had over 70 plastic bags. They saw it. It was oh uncomfortable. My. And they tried to save this whale. And when they opened it up, they saw bags and bags and bags of it's plastic. Yeah. So they thought it was conflicts. And this whale and all that. So microplastics even goes as far as the crayfish. There's also a research that has shown how My plastic... My favorite crayfish. Exactly. Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's a problem. So if you think that, you know, I'm not going to eat fish with plastic, it I goes in, you know, you don't see it, but it's there. And we all eat the same thing. So it's, it's, it's a cycle. It's a, it's a global problem, hmm. you know, uh, and I, I hope we can do something about it. Beat hmm. plastic pollution. I, I posted a picture, I mean, of a trip. I went, a 24-hour flight, and I took a picture. I took my time to take pictures of all the plastic I got on my flight to Lagos. And it was over 30. And this is an international flight, you know. So the problem is not just, it's a global problem. It is. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, there are, there are alternatives. Single-use plastics. And when you fly and you ask for more water, they're giving you more, more, more. cup. Mm. You know, they're not going to say, oh, bring the other cup. Can you keep your cup? And then when we need more water, we can serve you with the same cup. You know, of course, we can't have metal spoons and forks on, on plane because it's dangerous. Mm. You know, but at least allow people to reuse their cups or reuse their plastics. Mm. So as I mean, far as it was you that you Yeah, it was you me. Can, I can well, that, yeah, exactly. it. Will that keep... even solve the problem? You have countries like Rwanda, for example, like even Kenya, mm. they're already talking about scrapping. They yeah, have plastic. Some countries yeah. have. You know, all, Kenya all together. has, Rwanda has, yes. has, has abolished The EU uh, is also banning um, single-use plastics. Mm. Okay. So let's come back to you, uh, Mr. Ido. From the manufacturing process of plastic, it affects both the, the employees and, of course, the environment. So both from the, the manufacturing end and the consumption end, it is one long chain of danger to all of us. Talk to us about that and how... Talk to us about it. Okay. Yeah. From the manufacturing end. Yes. Case, when you manufacture plastic, mm -hmm. you have different categories of plastic that you are manufacturing and they propose. Don't forget that before we start taking pure water in Lagos, huh. it comes maybe mm. if you look at in the 80s, nobody takes pure water. Mm. The people that you see using sachets to 
can a liquid uh, to, to, to to put the liquid to package, to, to package the liquid. Uh, yes. They are just this argon that that sells uh, this uh, uh, this uh, local gene or this. These mm -hmm. are the only one. But later in the eighties, we started seeing the advent of uh, pure water. water, pure water. Why? Because we have problem with our urban water supply. Mm -hmm. Because no more water supply into different houses, and water is life. And if you get water in one way or the other, you want to take it as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. So canning water in even the low density or high density polyethylene is a problem. But we need water. So mm -hmm. how do we get water across to us? So what we normally say now is that if you have your own uh, aluminum can, or just like the VP normally carries water. Mm -hmm. So we encourage people, put your water there, take as many as possible, refill it, and go. That will reduce the usage of plastic. And it's not mm -hmm. just water that's packaged in yes. there. Mm -hmm. in, in, in nowadays. Plastic. Yes. Yes. You yes. have people who sell, Another, who package moi moi. What the developed in, in, country in, in, yeah, do rats. again is to make sure that the plastic they are producing is it's durable mm -hmm. and you okay. could use it as many over times over, guess, as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's reusable. It's recyclable. Like, it's, it's reusable for yeah, yeah, reusable. Yeah, what I mean by reusable yeah. is that look at if somebody comes from England now, come with Selfridges uh, bag. Uh, bag. Mm -hmm. You see our ladies um, yes. people carrying it as because they made it so fine and very solid mm -hmm. and it could long last. Mm -hmm. So that reduces the use of replacing the plastic. Mm -hmm. That's this are avenue. Yeah. They, they, they have make available for plastic reusing and Interesting. to be able to long last so that you won't have if you don't produce the waste there's exactly. nothing for you yeah. to manage exactly. and, throw away. and nothing threatens the yeah. ocean yes. now now Ugochi, um the the issue of plastics in the ocean first of all the ocean is very far away we all don't mm -hmm. live in the oceans mm -hmm. how did how do plastics really find themselves all in the ocean well he, yeah, he, he said that he said that, yeah, yeah that it yeah. moves they move mm -hmm. and very it's light. across the world yeah there's a, an island that has been discovered to be they call it the island of plastic because it seems like uh, the plastic all over the world because of the tide mm -hmm. it moves it to this particular location so they call it the i mean we've seen pictures of animals that have died because of plastic yeah. and and also that's how it gets there and also there's a problem i think for manufacturers mm. all over the world packaging is a problem you know we see our noodles we see them everywhere we see and there's the latest one this the what's it called the plastic people use for buying food now oh it's not that's even what yes styrofoam 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 yes they're styrofoam. not even yeah. recyclable yeah. so that's a problem now that's that's even going to get worse worse than plastic wow. you know so i think um, uh, companies that make these things companies that package they should think about the environment they should take the responsibility of also even asking people to return their waste mm. when you're done with our products what's our responsibility we should be responsible companies we should be responsible manufacturers to take back you know our waste when we when people are done with uh, our products and then there should be a policy that i mean government should also monitor companies that manufacture and package things and how much they, they produce and then some countries have put a tax on on plastic so if you're mm. going shopping and if you don't come with your bag you pay when mm. you remember you're going to pay 1000 naira for you're, every you're single bag to, yeah. you remember our mothers then they had bags you remember to they go had shopping. bags yeah when they go shopping mm. and i remember they used to pack things in papers Exactly. Need to remember. The yes. paper bags. Yeah, America paper. still use paper bags. So yeah, can of still course. Yeah. In America, they use paper Yeah, and that's an opportunity for young entrepreneurs watching. You can start a well, paper bag company. Go to speak to this um, idea of using nylon to package food, for example. Apples, moi moi. Yeah. People actually cook the yeah. moi moi yeah. in the nylon. And in the and plastic plates. And you just plates. imagine what happens yeah. to that. I, I see, I yeah. see the, the one and um, we eat uh, it. fufu. The fu fufu? Yeah, fufu, exactly. Yeah, to wrap it in fufu. Yeah. Wrap, yeah. Wrap, I mean, wrap. that's that's also, I mean, that's a huge problem. Apart from the health impact of that, yeah. it's that's polluting, right. yeah, apart mm -hmm. from the health. So consciously, I don't, I don't, I don't take moi moi in plastic. No, it has I been ask you. scientifically yeah. proven that if it you leaks. put a more, if you eat an object in plastic, it or something that is edible that mm -hmm. I eat most of the time and continue eating it, it might lead to cancer. Mm. And it leaks yes. into the food. Yes, so it leaks into the water, food. Even yeah. the water bottle. That's yeah. why they actually even advocate for bottles. If you can use bottles, I mean they break, but bottles are but they safer. Can be used yeah. and used over and over the, again. The, the advice I want to give both yeah. government and the and people is mm -hmm. this. There is no way we will not use plastic. It's already, already part of us. Mm. We will use plastic. Mm. One, we must reduce is by producing a long-lasting plastic. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, governments should come out with appropriate solid waste management 
system policy, policy. Mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. that when plastic is being produced as a waste or part of waste because plastic make 10 percent between 10 to 14 percent of the waste stream if you have 100 percent of municipal solid waste, plastic is 10 percent mm -hmm. glass is 3 percent textile is 7 percent organic component of our waste is 70 percent mm -hmm. so the remaining one inorganic make 30 percent so that 10 percent of plastic we have pet three mm. percent that's the pet the polyethylene te tetra yes tetra mm. fini that okay. one is three percent then we have hdp three percent we have low dp uh, ldp that's a high density uh, yeah low low density density three three uh, percent then yeah. we have the pe and pp 1.4 1.4 those are composition of plastic in that 10 percent of the plastic that are in Ah. Municipal solid waste. Now, the question is, all these, they have value chain that you can add to it. Because if you had, if you, if you, like the lowest part of LDP is this, what's pure water line on back. Mm -hmm. You introduce buyback. Okay. If you, mm -hmm. you produce yeah. this, bring it to us, we buy it, then you send it to the recycler. Who will turn it to pellet? And they used to make silpers. I think mm. I think the, I think mm. the thing is for for environmentalists. I understand the circular economy where you know you use, we recycle, we yeah. put it back. I understand that, but there's also a problem of the the, the where do you yeah jump those out from? yeah there are some that we might miss some and not recycle some. They're uh -huh. going to end up in the soil, and you know there's also the problem See. of the soil contaminating the soil. I understand what you're saying. Let me give you the statistics of the one you miss. If you have about five metric tons of waste, mm -hmm. a plastic waste. 2.5% of it or 3% of it have not been managed properly. And then recycling is expensive. Of course. There you mm. go. So yeah, it's expensive. It takes water, it takes energy to recycle. So that's why the, the, the ultimate solution. So it's just to reduce the yeah. use of So in this part of the can. world, it may not See, even be very practical. Let's even um, explore the, the other issue of the, 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 the impact of plastic. We hear that it takes up to 500 years for a plastic years sometimes. to degrade, mm -hmm. and in some cases, a thousand years. Yeah. That is, if you take it to the landfill. Yeah. Yes. Landfill. You see, we have different way of managing it. Mm -hmm. Landfill is one option, and don't forget, we say if in hundred percent of waste, we have ten percent or fifteen percent plastic. So those ten percent and fifteen percent, uh, between ten to fifteen percent, mm -hmm. if they are taken to the landfill. It takes a longer year before it could be Which shouldn't be an option. How, how, about, an how about those that are, the one that is burnt? If it is burnt and you, it melts. If it's burnt, it's definitely an environmental that's disaster. Another, that's another problem. Mm -hmm. See, in Europe now, it's costing them a lot of economic damage. This plastic is costing. Mm -hmm. Over 60 million euro is being spent annually mm -hmm. to clean the beaches yeah. in Europe. China has stopped taking plastic from the UK. And uh -huh. the UK has a problem now because there was a documentary, or someone did a documentary on what actually happens to the waste we say we recycle and it goes to China. And he followed this and discovered that they are dumped somewhere in these countries. They're not recycled. Just wow. a little percentage of them are actually recycled. So they, they just dump their waste. So China said, we don't want, Your we don't want to recycle anymore. You know, mm. so there's a problem, and I hope they don't begin to ship it this way. Definitely you know, right. that's yeah. because there's a problem of plastic. Nobody knows what to do with all the plastic they generate. The, the, the ultimate solution for the UN right now is let's be plastic, let's reduce the amount of plastic we generate. Because oh, we'll just yeah, close down plastic reduce. companies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dangerous. Anyway. Yeah, well, no, that's no, the no, shutting no, down I'm the just, circular yeah, economy exactly. for those I'm who just, believe in the circular let's economy. Just exactly. But you do, let's come back to you on this. Since, since the 70s, I think 1972, when the first World Environmental Day mm -hmm. was inaugurated, was, yeah. until now, every year, yeah. we commemorate this. Yeah. What impact has, mm -hmm. because when <laughs> we were introducing the program, because it was saying, just on that one day, we come, everybody yeah, talks yeah. about, oh, World Environmental Day, and, and then, then after we, that. Like go Valentine's Day. We go back to business what, as usual. But what is the impact of all of this? Over the years, yeah, you can say that mm. because you are not in the field. Okay, we in the field. Once uh, this kind of, uh, uh, I would like to say it, uh, sensitization. Mm. Mm -hmm. This type of sensitization, if it comes like this, mm. it gives us a, a, a kind of a bedrock where we start to look at the enormous danger okay. the topic of the day poses. Poses, mm -hmm. and scientists or people who are in the industry, start to profile solution. Then we start maybe discussing with policymakers, mm -hmm. trying to put legislation on, 
and trying to come up with solution to how to address it. So like to this year on now, what we can say is like a lot of people, what they have gained today, mm -hmm. they don't know until when the UN made it as a topic to commemorate the World Environment Day. Mm -hmm. So every year, different topics are being discussed. Mm -hmm. And from there, we start. We say the but what is the best way to tackle this plastic challenge? <laughs>